ever felt that sinking feeling when a bill arrives and it's way bigger than you anticipated? It happens to the best of us. But what if that bill isn't for your electricity or cable, but for a loan you took out? And what if, due to unexpected circumstances, you can't quite swing the repayment? Today, we're diving into the world of short-term loans and what transpires when you can't pay them back. Specifically, let's explore what happens if you default on a post-lake lending loan. Now, before we panic, it's important to remember that financial hardships are a reality for many. Millions rely on short-term loans to bridge temporary gaps, and post-lake lending isn't the only player in this field. But with any loan, understanding the potential consequences of non-payment is crucial. So, buckle up because we're about to dissect the not-so-fun realities of loan delinquency. First things first, let's acknowledge the obvious. Post-Lake Lending wants to get paid back. They're a business, and like any business, their bread and butter is loan repayment. Their website clearly states that they reserve the right to take all permissible means to collect outstanding debts, as outlined in your loan agreement. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? So, what exactly does all permissible means entail? Well, it can vary depending on your location and the size of the loan. But here's a breakdown of some common possibilities. Fee frenzy. Missing a payment is likely to trigger a late fee. These can add up quickly, further straining your finances. Collection calls. Brace yourself for some not-so-friendly phone calls from Post Lake Lending or a third-party collection agency. These calls can be relentless and often come at inconvenient times. Credit score cratering. If you default on your loan, it will be reported to credit bureaus, tanking your credit score. This can make it incredibly difficult to secure loans, credit cards, or even rent an apartment in the future. Let's just say bad credit can follow you around for a long time. Lawsuit looming. In some cases, Post Lake lending might resort to legal action. This means court appearances, potential wage garnishments, or even liens placed on your property. The legal route can get messy and expensive, so it's definitely in your best interest to avoid it if possible. But wait, there's maybe more. Here's a glimmer of hope. Post Lake Lending's website also states they're willing to work with you if you're facing repayment difficulties. This suggests some flexibility might be on the table. Here are some proactive steps you can take if you find yourself struggling to repay your Post Lake Lending loan. Communication is key. Don't bury your head in the sand. Contact Post Lake Lending as soon as you know you'll miss a payment. Explain your situation and explore options. They might be able to offer a repayment plan or other solutions. Explore alternatives. Before resorting to a short-term loan, consider alternatives like a credit card with a 0% introductory APR or a personal loan from a bank or credit union. These might have lower interest rates and more flexible repayment terms. Budgeting basics. It sounds simple, but creating a realistic budget can help you manage your finances more effectively. Track your income and expenses to identify areas where you can cut back and free up resources for loan repayment. Seeking help. If you're overwhelmed by debt, nonprofit credit counseling agencies can provide free or low-cost guidance. Remember, defaulting on a loan shouldn't be your first option. But by understanding the potential consequences and taking proactive steps, you can navigate a challenging situation and hopefully reach a resolution with post-lake lending. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.